the show. How I was getting. F- I listened to a lot of people. Me. It's Kid Craddock in the morning. Well, I'm- I'll bet this is must be nice guy. Do I even pick oh, it up? Oh, kid, yeah. he's such a downer. Well, not for you guys. We all know a guy like this. Yeah, he's the guy in the office. Whenever something good happens to you and you want to celebrate, he's the one, oh, must be nice. Like, he's the energy sucker. Yeah, you're like, I just got a new car. He's like, oh, must be nice. I have a new car. Wow. Takes all the fun out of it. I have a new car in eight years. Mm. It, it makes you like feel that. guilty for yeah. having good things happen right. to you. Oh, see, he's not going to give up, though. He's, he's going to answer yeah. the phone. Must be nice. Hello, Kid Craddock in the morning. Is this, is this you, Mr. Nus- must be nice guy? Hey guys, hey, sorry buddy. about that. Oh hey. no, it's really all right. Why are you apologizing? Well, I'm at a pay phone, you know. It's, you found one that works. Thanks for taking my call, bro. Thank you, you for calling. Been. What are you guys even doing on the air? It's been like two weeks since you had one of your all expense paid vacations. What's going on? That. A little longer than that. Wow, you got the private jet all fueling up, ready to go. Mm-hmm. Getting ready for uh, Memorial Day weekend, actually. You guys are yes. So special. Mm-hmm. Yeah, must be nice. Hey, I just got. Uh, I just found out I'm kind of special. I just got the test results back, and I'm oh. special. Yeah. How, and How what? Right. Well, somehow I picked up that SARS virus. Uh, I'm one of only 46 people in the whole oh. world. Are That's you? Good. Are you gonna live? No, I'm a you know, the verdict's still out on that. How are you guys feeling, by the way? That's good. Yeah. Must not be nice bad. not to be a victim of a global epidemic. Must be nice. <laughs> yeah. I don't think 46 counts as global. Well, of course, if you did catch it, I'm sure it would turn out to be a good thing for you guys. Like you turned into an advantage. Like you, they'd pay you a bunch of money and be on Dancing with the SARS or something. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Turning lemons into lemonade right Must there. Nice guy got jokes. Well, SARS isn't really all that bad, actually. At least I don't have the big welts on me like I did when I had the West Nile virus. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's too. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm. Not nearly. I'm not throwing up all the time like when I had mad, mad cow disease. <laughs> Boy, you yeah. what else a rough luck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is probably one of the worst disease I've ever had since I got poison ivy on my brain. Oh, you, you can do that? Poison yeah. ivy oh, on your brain. It, it's so wow. bad I had to think about sandpaper until it went away. Yeah, <laughs> you guys have good health insurance up there? Uh, yeah, yeah. Must right. be nice. Yeah, you don't. Well, I have health insurance from the urine factory, but I think it's one of them bare bones policies. You know, bare bones. Wait a minute, a urine factory? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a it's a PPO. That's what I got. PPO. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, I don't think it's a very good plan though. You just look up what's wrong with you, and it says just rub some dirt on it. Mm. Mm. Obama. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is there time for me to say hi to everybody on the show? Sure, but, sure, guys. I know sure. you've got a break coming up. You probably that's when you guys count your money, so I don't want to interrupt. Yeah. Well, actually, we have a contest coming up, and um, like now. Oh, hi, JC. Hey, must be nice. How's guy. the Latin Blake Shelton doing today? Y'all carved up and ready to hit the gym. Latin Blake Shelton. After you finish your fake work on the radio, must be nice. Yeah, I'm ready. Yesterday I had a workout with a mechanical pencil. I was constipated. It's the only thing that could help. Oh, uh, okay. oh hey, man. Hey, you, uh, and, your, you and your supermodel wife and perfect baby still living in your cathedral mansion overlooking your kingdom? Well, it's on fire yeah. right now, but yeah. yeah must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> must be nice to live like the royal half Mexican family. Yeah. Yeah. It is very nice. You know, if you still lived in Mexico when you were doing this good, you'd be kidnapped by now. Oh, must be nice. Sure. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> must be nice not to be bound and gagged and held for ransom. That is very nice. <laughs> I know nice what that be... means you do. It, what? That's my catchphrase, sweeping the nation. Yeah, I know no, what that means you do. Sweeping anything. Yeah. Oh, hi, Jenna. Hi, Mr. Looking at you on Kid nice TV guy. right now. How's it going, girlfriend? It's going all right. How are you doing? Hope you don't mind me calling you girlfriend. I, I kind of do, but... My last girlfriend won't talk to me. Oh, okay. I can't be mad at her. She never knew she was my girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fine with it, as long I, as I don't do anything. Hey, who's got more boyfriends, Jenna? You or your side boob? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all double date? You guys double date? You and your side boob? No, no. Man, no. I bet with all the trust fund boys chasing you, they're probably dividing it up going, I get side boob! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fortunately, be- no action on for either one of us. I bet you never pay for anything. Must be nice to be a rich multimedia star and still be a kept woman. Yeah. How's that work? You can just walk up to you. They, guys just come up to you in the bar and say, hey, can I buy you a condo or a house? <laughs> or yeah, pretty private much. Private island? Oh, I wish. I know what that means you did later. 
Yeah, I would. That's a variation on the catchphrase of sweeping it out. Oh, okay. I don't know what you did later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, did you get your dog back? I did. I know you loaned him to a friend. Now, did you loan him or rent him out? Because I'm sure you're part of that celebrity service where if you're a hot celebrity, you can rent your dog out for a day. And, uh, and people will pay a lot of money to rent a dog from a, a beautiful celebrity with great side boob. Yeah, you know what? It was a free exchange, actually. Nice. Just a favor. Some people are nice. Yeah. You're, you're, uh, you're beautiful. Thank you. Girlfriend. Can I call <laughs> you girlfriend even though the last girlfriend's no missing? <laughs> oh, wow. She's still missing. As long as I don't have to do anything, like wait I said. A, wait a minute. I can't leave without talking to my living, breathing fantasy woman. Hi, Kelly Ransbury. Oh, thank you. How's the queen of all radio, past, present, and future noon this morning? She is great. You're my favorite on the show. You know why? Why? Because you make more money than God, but you live just like me. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> I know what that means you have. Another variation. Wow. On the catchphrase, sleeping on Asia. Hey, give me an update on your free Lexus SUV. How's that going for you? Is it doing good? It's smooth as silk. Must be nice. It is very Must nice. Must be nice have a car that runs great. I just got mine fixed. Really? Yeah, it's been two years. It really needs to go to the shop. What's yeah. wrong with it? So, well, it, needs, it didn't have any brakes for about two years. It didn't have yeah, brakes right. for two years. So I took it to the shop and got it all fixed. I couldn't afford new brakes. I just had to make the horn louder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wow. Kelly, you, scream, yeah. you scream at anybody at Starbucks lately? Have I screamed? You're kind of a legend for your epic screaming fits at Starbucks. Isn't it fun to degrade a person makes a lot less money than you do? <laughs> I'm not familiar with that. <laughs> I must, must have nice. blacked out during those episodes. Aren't you like, look at me, I'm so rich, I just paid $15 for a latte grande cup espresso, and I'm going to pour it in the trash can now. Isn't that what you do? <laughs> no, not exactly. Yes. Kelly, hey, believe? next time you should just throw your purse in the trash can and set it on fire, you know? And Why would I do that? Everybody know how rich you are. <laughs> well, I just set my purse on fire at Starbucks. Must be nice. I need to work on being more interesting. I like mm -hmm. Starbucks, though. I'm like you. I mm -hmm. love it. I lived in their bathroom for like three months. <laughs> How'd you get away with that? It was so annoying, Kelly. People would come up and they'd jiggle the handle, mm -hmm. and then they'd knock, and then they'd call the police, mm -hmm. and then they'd, they'd bring the battering ram, and... Wow. And then the tear gas. Wow, it's a big stream <laughs> for the Starbucks. Huh? Yeah. You put up a fight at least. Yeah. Hey, Big Al. Hey, what's up, man? Things going good for you? Yeah, yeah, not too bad. Not yeah, too who bad. cares? <laughs> Thanks for asking. Subscribe now for more videos from Kid Craddock in the Morning. And check us out at KidNation.com. It's Kid Craddock in the Morning.